guys, welcome back to Follow Us. And in this journey, we will continue to discover a very cool place because in Vietnam, each province or city has a reputation and this is not a deception. So what is um, the reputation of these uh, province? So we are in the land of the coconuts. You guys want to guess real quick before we tell you? Three, two, one. All together say, Ben Che. So yes, we are going to be experiencing all sorts of things in the day and trying all types of coconut dishes, seeing coconuts in general. And you can already see right now we are on a river and right next to us is Iu which is actually a palm. I don't think it's a coconut, but yeah. it doesn't matter. We can still say it's a coconut, but lots and lots of coconut based activities today. So let's take a closer look to our journey. Let's do it. And I forgot to introduce to you guys, it's our pleasure to be on the boat of a very super woman, strong and amazing, the yes. Saumat. Yeah. 71 years old, strong as an ox. So somebody strong as an ox, very, very strong. And I actually feel a little bit bad because I feel like I need yeah. to be driving the boat, but she's extremely happy and friendly and I think she's enjoying it quite a bit. Yeah, and she smiles a lot. She's really welcoming us. Because as you guys can see right now, we are in a small little stream. This connects to the major river in Benjang, which I'm not sure what river that is. Is it the Mekong River? Let me ask her. Dì ơi, đây là cái rạch đúng không gì? Dạ, cái rạch cầu chùa này là nó nó kết nối với sông Mê Công ha là gì? À, dạ vâng, that's right, Mê Công. Because it's, I think, the biggest river in Vietnam. I'm not sure if it's the longest or the widest because every river is differentiated between those. But as you guys can see, right now we're going upstream because the water is going out to the ocean. So we would say it's low tide. It is not high tide right now, and the water will continue to go out to the right of us. You can see all the mud or the sediment, if you want to use the more mud? of like a science word for that, with the lots mud? of yu or um, I think it's called nipa palm. And if you guys, this is also the shore, which has a lot of mud. So when mud. you're walking on this, you will sink into the mud. I spend a lot of time in the rivers in Vietnam, and you will definitely sink. It may come up to your knee. Uh, the highest mud I've been into has come up to like my upper thigh, almost my waist. Extremely difficult to walk. I will be scared to death. Is it shallow or deep? Um, when it's high tide, it'll be much deeper. But um, I don't know how deep this is, but it's deep enough for us to take the boat. So it has to be at least maybe like half a meter. Mm -hmm. um, it's very shallow. You can just use the stick and push off. Yeah. But she's using um, one stick only. Like, yeah, her paddle. That's we call that a paddle. Paddle. Yeah. So yeah. this is a small little boat. Paddle. Dì ơi, mình làm chèo thuyền được bao lâu rồi ạ? À? Dạ, hai chục năm nay. Wow, thế lúc đầu là mình học có khó không ạ? À, cũng khó mình thấy mà này biết là từ nhỏ tới lớn mà. À, từ nhỏ là mình đã treo rồi. Dạ. Là truyền thống gia đình ạ. Dạ. À, dạ. Thế là à, ngày ngày trước là có nhiều khách du lịch nước ngoài tới đây làm đúng không gì? Dạ, khách nước ngoài vô đây nhiều lắm. Dạ Tại vâng. Có dịch tới giờ đó thành ra không có. Dạ vâng, ít hơn ạ. Nhưng mà không xa lắm. Người Việt mình là con là bọn con quay truyền hình là để nói mọi người là đến đây mình trải nghiệm nè. Uh, so guys, as you can see, due to the COVID-19, there are fewer yeah, foreign few tourists. So if you have time, if you want to discover many other things in Mien Tây, con chào cả nhà, con chào cả nhà. So um, yeah, please come here and visit. And this is a way to enjoy a new aspect of life and also to contribute to the tourism of Vietnam. And one other thing which I find fascinating, but I think V does not care about at all, is oftentimes on the shore you'll see mud skippers. Mud skippers are the fish that like to come out of the water and walk on the land. So if you're into like animals, that's a very unique and special fish that's based in Vietnam. Uh, right now there's, I've only seen a couple of them, but you'll find them on the shore walking around, hanging out. When the tide comes up, they go back into their holes and then hide from all the predators and the other right. fish and birds that are gonna eat them. Do you wanna look around? <laughs> After cruising along the Mekong River, we'll come to visit a house making traditional coconut candy to learn how coconut candy is made. I think there are a lot more interesting things in store for us there. Let's go!
slicing the coconut candy right now? Yes, that's right. So when I was young, I ate so many coconut candies that my teeth started to hurt. Yeah, my teeth started to decay. I decay. So you got like plaque, and then you got cavities, that's and then right. you had to see the dentist. Exactly. And then they had to take your teeth out. So you guys, right now, can be all of her teeth are fake. Can be all of her teeth are fake. <laughs> because of the coconut candy she ate earlier, and she needed surgery to build a new, I don't know, a new jaw, a new teeth for her. This so is it, my real teeth. I know, I know. This is my real teeth. I know, I know. I'm just kidding. No young, no do I. Okay, so some coconut candies, are we allowed to eat them? No, no, you can't touch them, B. Oh, really? Are you serious? She has to package them. Joy, oi! Joy, oi! See? Can I try? No it? manners. Can I try it? Yeah, eat it. Because you already can touched I it. Try She's just being nice to you right now, B, but everybody is disappointed. No? It sticks to my teeth. For this, I've had this actually quite a bit. It's, uh, I think it's kind of like a taffy. How you describe the type of candy, like a taffy. It's very chewy. A sticky. Yes, very chewy and uh, sticky and sweet. And when we were kids, we eat this. We always use our hand to yeah, take to pick all it out. the yeah. candy out Not instead of using a toothpick. Yeah, you just you pick it out from your teeth. That's right. You want to try? I've had before, but you I'm okay. Try now? No, you eat this one because I feel uncomfortable touching the candy right now as she's preparing it because you touched it without asking, so you just consumed it. Um, without permission, but you got permission afterwards, so it's okay. But other things I will try because um, I love coconuts and um, I want to feel more comfortable having some. No, you are just making excuses. You don't want to eat the coconut candy. Then tell the audience straight. I'm not making excuses, you guys. Maybe a little bit. I'm just not a big fan of candy. V has the sweet tooth. She's the one that loves the sugar. Yeah. Uh, me, I like sweet foods, but candy, uh, not so much. Well, let's try something else. I'm done. Let's go. Let's I go. cannot even smile because it's all over my teeth. You can still smile, but it's going to be in your teeth. There you go. There you go. A little smile. Okay, let's go try something else, V. Yeah, come on, Jay. And Jay, Siloy, V. Nguya Hanoi. Kombi, mi tai. Siloy, V. Nguya Hanoi. Kombi, mi tai. Chị tên gì hả chị? Thu Chị Thu ạ à, Chị Thu ơi, mình làm kẹo dừa được mấy năm rồi hả? À? Dạ, hồi 13 năm À, 13 năm ạ, tức là lúc chị còn nhỏ là chị đã bắt đầu làm kẹo dừa rồi đúng không? Dạ. Vâng ạ Cái này là truyền thống trong gia đình mình chị nhỉ? À, vâng Nhưng một ngày chị gói khoảng bao nhiêu cái kẹo dừa ạ? À? Dạ, một ngày là một người gói là 100 gói gì ạ? Vâng, là 100 cái 100 gói hay là 100 cái? Ồ, oh, 100 gói ạ, là xong So, every day, 100 boxes yeah, yeah. of these candies Yeah, so you guys can see right now, she's packaging the candy Uh, ăn được không? So, bánh chang? Yeah So this is the rice paper, you guys, which is edible So something you're not sure is edible or not, you use the word edible if you can eat it So she's using that, she's putting it into the rice paper And folding it up and then packaging it in a small little, I guess you could say, package But with this, you don't want the candy to stick to the paper because you can't eat the paper, but you can eat the rice paper. So they have to wrap it into the rice paper first. This was the meat when I was young. Yeah. I always thought like, oh my God, this is not edible. I like the durian candies. Coconut uh -huh. is good, but the, the candies that I will yeah. eat uh, sometimes are the, the durian ones. Durian, I, really I know like that them. you like durian. Yeah, I love durian. Can I say this is a repetitive work? Repetitive? Repetitive. Yeah. Uh, you could say it's repetitive because it's the same motion continuously and probably for the entire day. Oh, so I mispronounced that word all of my life. Yeah, repetitive. Repetitive. Yes, okay, repetitive. guys, repetitive work. It's okay. Chị ơi, cho em thử gói một cái nhá. Oh, this is gonna be good. Let's see how you do it. I will it, give babe. it a try. Let's see how she's doing. You gotta, you gotta see an example first. Okay, I'm gonna do like this and then fold it this way and this way. And then this way, and then this. 
it's good enough. You can still eat it. As long as you can eat it, that's all that matters. I messed it up. Yeah, this is so good. She puts, the, for the banchang, the rice paper, it's centered. Yours was not centered. It was on the farther yeah. end. It's really it messy. It has to be in the center. Yeah, it's mine now. But it's okay. You can still eat it, babe. Yeah. All right, let's go try something else. Well, I'm Dustin. And here it comes. The, the pronunciation, pronunciation time. Hi, Oi. What is uh, the words, confusing words? Not confusing words, but the sound. Look okay, at confusing sounds, excuse okay, confusing me. Sound. A lot of us mispronounce this sound. What is it? NG sound, like ing. Yeah, okay, like thing, moving, the ing sound. Yeah, that's right. Okay, you know, off topic, you guys gotta yeah. explain. The ng sound in tingviet, that took me six weeks to learn. Because everyone's like, no, Dustin, it's very similar to the ING sound. No, it's not, you guys. It's very <laughs> different. And that's what confused me. Six weeks to say nga. Nah. Because mm. I would say uh, na, like yeah. say nguing. I would say nguing. That's uh, right. The ING sound. So ing, 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 ing. All right. So you can see my face looking very beautiful. I'm over exaggerating right now, but ing. When I'm doing that, it's a little bit in my nose. There is no air coming out of my mouth and my tongue is slowly cutting off like the airflow. So, ing, ing. ing. My nose is still open, but the back of my throat is completely closed when I say that. Give me some words. Uh, moving, living, thing, making. I don't know, I'm just trying to think of some like continuous verbs. So but now yeah. we know ing sound. Ing. Not ng, but ng. Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> that was so hard for me to learn. Oh, yeah, yeah. Totally different. Let's see us. Yeah. So many products made of coconut. So we got the coconut candy from before. Mm -hmm. This uh, coconut oil. It's very good for growing hair. Yeah, you can for use hair it for skin care or even cooking. Mm -hmm. It has a, what's nice about coconut oil, it has a high, like, uh, I think it's burning point or heat point. Mm -hmm. So you can fry it really hot and it won't start smoking compared really? to, say, something like soybean oil. This is a uh, coconut oil. Some more coconut oil. Hydrate your skin, hydrate your lips. Soap, yeah, we got coconut soap. soap. What is this? Is? Let's move to this side. To is see. this honey? Honey made from coconut flowers? This is, yeah, this is candy with a lot of peanuts. Oh, yeah. this one's actually good, the dried coconut. Oh uh, yeah, we often eat this during Tate holiday. Is this coconut chapstick for your yeah, lips? Yeah, lip chapstick? balm, lip balm. This is a bánh dừa nướng. Okay, so nice. It's a fried flour. coconut cake. Interesting. Some more coconut candy. Um, yeah, basically everything we can eat, we can use for your skin. What we is this? We can use for what else? Like, oh, there is no souvenir here, but. I don't know. Yeah, just the coconut oil, different types of things here. Soap. Okay, let's keep Should going. Should I buy this? It's good for the hair because I don't have much if hair. If you want to buy it, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, let's see. 100% pure coconut oil. For UV, it's going to be very expensive though. <laughs> Nobody likes you, so it has to be really expensive. <laughs> Two confusing words, do and make. So, uh, do think of more of like the um, the progress what you're currently doing and make is more of like the completion the conclusion of whatever yet you're doing so mm. you want to give an example then afterwards i'll give one okay so as i was um doing some calculation i made two mistakes okay so the other day i was doing some housework and then overall, I finally finished and I was able to make a beautiful cake. Do and make. But I didn't make a cake, I'm lying. So, but yeah, it's do okay. and make. With coconut, we can make so many things and you know I have a sweet tooth. So this is the love of my life, coconut ice cream. Sugar-free, good for your health, delicious, tasty, a mouthful. Is it sugar-free though? Yeah, it's sugar-free. Like they actually use like coconut sugar or if they don't have any sugar added, but they use the coconut sugar. I think they use coconut sugar. Okay, so it's not sugar free if they're using coconut <laughs> sugar. It's a different type of sugar. And V likes to fool herself. If you fool somebody, you kid them. Or V likes to fool herself. So with that, she likes to believe something that's uh, not true. But it's good. It's super tasty. Yeah, this is actually my second one. Mm. I ate one before we started filming. 
and the production manager, he got really angry at me and he's uh. making me eat a second one just for you guys at home. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's nice, it's refreshing because you know, in Vietnam at times it's quite hot, so you have something that's nice and cool. Cool you down? Yes, but I think this is made with, a, is this like a, some sort of bean and maybe flour? Yeah, mung beans, I believe. Is it? Yeah, yeah. exactly true, mung bean. So it's nice, and if you guys are thinking, would we have something like this back in the United States? <laughs> Generally speaking, no we wouldn't, but you could find it maybe in some places, but our ice cream is usually more processed, and this is some type of like sweet or even ice cream in Vietnam that I do like because it's not, as, you could say not as processed as mm. American ice cream, but yeah, I like it though. It's really good, but it's just 10,000 Vietnam dough. Yeah. We have a perfect ice cream, which tastes so, so good. Yeah, I mean, especially like to the ambiance of the atmosphere. Yeah, the hammock that V is being extremely selfish and not sharing, but... Now because you are too heavy, you will break things! This yeah. is not yours! I often break a lot of hammocks and chairs in Vietnam because of my size and weight, but uh, So you call okay. this hammock? I call it a hammock. 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 Oh, we learned yeah. a new word. And swinging on the hammock or relaxing in the hammock. Oh, swinging on the hammock, relaxing yeah, in the take hammock. Nap. Take a nap. Take a nap here. I sleep in a hammock. I have a hammock at my house. That oh. will... It's suitable for me. It won't uh, collapse won't break or it. break. No, no. But I've broken many other hammocks. All right. In cheers, Dustin. You don't cheers ice cream. Like just like cheers. We can do elbow. Okay. Because your hands are dirty. Elbow. Cheers. Do you think your hands are clean? No, my hands are cleaner than yours. All right. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Okay. Here we go.